And welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by our good friends at Fast Frame. No matter what you have, Fast Frame can find the proper frame for it, like this print of Shim Creek over in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. See all those red roofs and the, the red on the boat there and kind of the red on the, the water and reflecting from the, the sunset. Fast frame, I don't know how well you can see it there, but they found a black frame, just the right size, just the right width to really bring out the frame, but there's a slight red stripe. There's a hint of a red stripe. Just There's a hint of a red stripe underneath our desk, too, but uh, a 12-pack of them. Uh, there is a, uh, there's a slight red stripe around that frame, so it brings out the red in the artwork. The, the point is, if you've got something, fast frame can make it look better. Take it to fast frame, see Richard, Liz, and the gang out there you will be ecstatic with the results. Okay, uh, fellas, we have uh, over on the YP board the first five games of uh, Tennessee schedule. There you have it. Utah State, Arkansas State at Oklahoma, and boy, Bob Stoops was taking shots at the SEC this week. I've got a bad feeling about that one. If, if he gets a chance to stick in his cleats and spin them in Tennessee's neck, I think he'll try and do it. Then you got at Georgia and Florida. What's more likely, a 5-0 and start or an 0-5 start? I don't, I don't see uh, any possible way they could get to 5-0. and oh. So it so has to default, be 0-5, oh yeah. Which I don't think is going to happen either, but it's more likely, I, I, I don't, think. Yeah, but I mean, I don't, I don't see how this team could if – they, if they could get to 5-0, and oh, that would be the greatest start for a football team where Tennessee's at right now in college football history against that schedule. Give Butch Jones one of those in-season raises. They got to 5-0. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> when, when you emailed me that question last night, I thought I had misread it. Like, <laughs> it's so obvious. Duh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Chuck, you agree? 5-0. and oh, I see it happening, baby. I'm on the Sterling hit and I was, I was about to say Sterling so, should do a walk-on right Ster now. <laughs> actually, actually, if Sterling weren't, weren't in Las Vegas at his uh, urban hangover yeah. event that uh, he does every year, I actually called him and said, hey, do you want to walk on tomorrow and, and do this? But he's in Vegas, so, or he would be. So it's good that you channeled him. But he still <laughs> thinks 5-0. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure he does. Going to win them all, baby. No, I, I think uh, there, there are a couple of games up there that are I just don't see Tennessee winning. So 0-5 yeah. is more likely than 5-0. And, and at Oklahoma is this season's Oregon from last year, I think. Yeah. It could very well be. Oklahoma is just the deal yeah. killer. The, the problem mm -hmm. is I think Oregon, there was no animosity, no bad blood there. I think Stoops would love. I mean, he also helps his brother at Kentucky yeah. if yeah. he annihilates. Tennessee. And if anything, last year Oregon kind of let off the gas a little yes, bit I after know. three quarters. I and mean, I don't like know fourth quarter. Well, yeah. He hurts his brother's strength of schedule. If he <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think his brother <laughs> Calipari may be worrying about yeah. strength of schedule these days. I don't think Stoops is to that point yet. Uh, what is the most important game on Tennessee's schedule? All twelve. What do you think the most important single I game think is? It, I, I would make the case for Florida. I mean, I can see a, a case where, okay, you're not all in, you know, coming into that game. Maybe you're two and yeah. two. Florida's is that SEC home game that you've had a chance to beat. You weren't able to close the deal in the past. That could really get things energized. And know it's going to be a tough rest of the October. To me, Florida is the key game, and it's time for, you know, be able to beat that. Yeah, after Chattanooga, you've got Alabama, South Carolina, and Ole Miss. I forget the order, but that's the three that you've got back to back to back. Yeah. I'll go Utah State right because I think right off the bat, that is a team that can come into Neyland Stadium and win, and if they do, uh, I mean, all of a sudden, a lot of people out there don't think Utah State is that good. They look at that as the uh, all, you know, okay, Tennessee's mm -hmm. open a game they should win. If Tennessee was up, yeah, they should beat them. But they're not. Utah State's good enough to beat them. I think that would kind of put a little bit of a negative light on Butch Jones. And I just wonder if it sucks some of the life out of a young team that you lose to somebody who, even though they're good enough, most people are going to look up and say they shouldn't come into Neyland Stadium and have a chance. Auburn, Texas A&M, Southern Cal fans all looked at it and said the same thing over the last few years. And all of them got a dogfight yeah. out mm -hmm. of – out of Utah State. And U um, Utah State, they, they've been on the record, some of their players saying they think the six and a half point line, they think that's too high. They think that's a lack of respect being a six and a half point underdog at Tennessee. Mike Strange, most important game. Bob makes a really compelling case for Utah State, and I agree with it, but Florida to me, uh, because they're down, or their there's perception yeah, they're there's down, although I don't think they really are. I think they're loaded. But yeah. you got it, you got it at your place, and if you don't beat them, it, it'll have been 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I think they've convinced me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go Florida as well, because even if you, even if you stumble early, 
if you not, if you snap some streak, I think you're going to get bonus points for that. Now, granted, the South Carolina game didn't. Nobody's really talking about it once that streak of Alabama, Auburn, Missouri started. But I think even if you get off to a bad start, if you can somehow knock off Florida, uh, I think that will get people uh, charged up a little bit, buy you some more time, and give you something else to t point to recruits and say, see what we're doing here. So I'll say Florida. I think the thing we agree on is it's either Utah State or Florida. And that's what I wrote down, one of those two. And as I went back and forth, I thought if you lose to Utah State, then that's not only raining on your parade, but it's raining right before the parade basically starts, right, right. at the beginning. Yeah. If you beat Florida, you beat a team in the SEC that you haven't beat since 2004. So even if you lose to Florida, I think the more important win would be Florida. So I'm going to go with Florida by a nose over Utah State. Okay, okay. Well, uh, is wrong, 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 and wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just right. going to bring up being right. right. And, and as the lone guy here, that means next segment you get to wear the pink hat. That's the, that's the award for being the, the only guy on this panel to go that way. All right. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Not that there's anything wrong. Will freshmen have a bigger impact on the offensive or defensive side of the football? Come on back. <laughs> 